we write it in here. We will take the maximum sigma x, sigma y, and a sigma xy, which normally the input will come from customer. Actually, this is how your inputs will come in the real time problems. Okay? He will be modeling this, he will be applying actual loads on this particular problem. And because of the external loads, some internal stresses will be induced in the component. Each task will be allocated to one one team or one one person. Okay, you take this skin. One person is responsible for LA skin, another is responsible for RA skin. Some team they will make is responsible for it. Similarly, it is also need to do the same thing. Okay, these components normally will be critical to shear. Okay, these are exactly the bending members, sparring the people that bending members. Okay, this is the problem since uh, probably the last two days we have been discussing. This panel we have taken as 450 by 500 and with, for this load, we know that it's going to buckle less than 12 newton per millimeter square. However, the material has been spent up to 400 plus. Okay. Initially, this was chosen with the, because we need to see that how to improve the capacity to withstand the load against the compression load initially we took the decision to go ahead with 3 someone was asking I am not sure Sukhanya has asked anybody that exactly how to decide the number of stringers we are going to decide by this concept only how do I know that how many stringers I need to decide between these two members please because this comes from the the influence of A is not that much the influence of B is the one, T and B. So before we increase the T, you have to think that is there any way where we can also improve the with B. B should be an optimum. Normally we keep it as low as 80, maximum 220. Okay? So that is where in the root area, 180 to 220, Normally, we will try to keep the spacing. When I continue come like this, automatically this comes to here less. Okay? So, here we can go up to 80. And of course, when I come from here, I don't bring the same cross section, I will be bringing the tapered cross section. Second important point you must remember is stringer need not be continuous from here to here. Spa must be a continuous one. If I see, I, I, I bring 3 here from here, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, I bring 3 here and I bring 3 here and I stop 1 here and I will continue 2 here. That is definitely possible because I will not be having a space at all here. Stringer can be discontinuous. Okay, in order to pass the stringer here, we give a cutout here. Okay, they are called stringer cutout. Similarly, you will have a similar cutout in the fuselage also, in the frames, where you allow the stringer to pass through this. That effect of that cutoff need to be taken into account when it comes to the sizing of this. Okay, so this stringer is a continuous member. It will pass through this. That is the reason this is a continuous member. This is not a continuous member. You see how beautifully it is being linked to your song. Longitudinal continuous member, normally a machine member. This is called spar. Okay. Each of this is called simply supported beam. From here to here, this is called cantilever beam. This is called simply supported beam. Okay. And load will come from skin to this. Okay. Skin, the moment you apply a load without the stiffener, it is going to happen like this. Kind of this. So that's the reason you have to reinforce it. This member is called column. This member is called flat panel. Combination of this is called skin stringer panel. From the skin stringer panel, the load will be transferred to this and this, which are called ribs. Ribs will take a more shear load, but actually they are like a simply supported beam. One is connected here and one is connected here. From this ends, reaction forces, load will be transferred to this and load will be transferred to this. Continuously, this is a continuous member, behaves like a cantilever beam. From this entire load, will be transferred to this structure called a fuse gas with the help of things which you will be taking up a design of this is will be your next one. So this even though in the previous one we have used the L cross section stringer but the factor was coming very high 13.97 but the more shape was not acceptable it was 
Don't go by blind. Okay, how simple model is better than one point zero. Let's have a take it now. As a good thing, you should always see how actually your structure is deforming. Even in the static analysis also, first see the deformation. Then you get into the stresses. Okay, so don't straight away jump to see the stresses. That's not the right way to do the post processing. Okay, so here the mode was the global mode. Which was not acceptable to us. It means that we wanted to use the stringer as the panel breakers. Okay, even though it was giving the enough stiffness, but unfortunately, it was not able to break the panel as the local buckle moves. So, global buckle mode in the first mode is never acceptable to us, even in the real time design mode. Okay, so that's the reason we took the decision to move from L section to the G section. This is where exactly we found out. One of the doubt probably we have been getting, okay, one D is showing so clarity, but we are not able to see in the 2D. Okay. Now you observe very carefully. The three slides you need to watch quite carefully. Here we could able to see the partition so clearly. Okay. This is exactly the stage location. And we could see the local modes and we could see that exactly the each stage what we have chosen is breaking the panel, okay? And all the local modes we are able to see on the skin panel. But however, in this approach, we were not able to see how these members were actually buckling. Okay? So now, this is, this step is again we follow the clear design piece. Okay? Because you should know now the software tools also, availability of the elements we are going to use. Okay? So we were able to see this here. This is what is few people's question here. And here also, probably we could able to see slightly better. The partition is still better and the assumption here is each one can actually join together. Simply what we follow like this. We follow even this, this kind of a bonding is we are going to follow in case of a composite construction. Okay? If you go for a co-cure and a co-bonding, these two can be bonded together. Skin and the stringer are buckling together, especially the flanges. Okay? These two, what you have seen is something called an integrally stiffened panel. They are actually a single structure. I can also have a metal one. The chair, what you have been seeing, are the stiffness, have they been externally attached? Actually, they are internally. Actually, it is more stiffer than what we are going to uh, externally attach. The next case, what we are seeing is actually it is externally attached. Okay? And the load here, the load is continuously transferring it from flange, skin to flange. But where the load is only transferring from the skin to the stringer, only through the bolts. That's the reason you would not be able to see the structure here 23.69. We have not made any changes. First question here, some of the thoughts you have it here. In this particular case, we didn't make any change. We have one for a slightly a finer mesh. Correct? Little finer mesh, but the problem is exactly identical to the previous one, factor is 7.3. So 23 to 17, the factor is dropping. We have not made any changes. If you take weight of both, probably weight of this will be slightly higher. You know why? Weight of the level must be taken into account. Weight of the assembly will be more, but still the factor is less because we need to accept it because the type of construction and the material what we have chosen to go ahead is metallic. We need to bring the revenue cost into account. Of course, you are going to remove some material because what drill you are making, some weight has been saved, some weight has been added in terms of fastness. But end of the day, weight of this will be more. This is slightly a weaker assembly than the previous one. Because load only will transfer to fastener. There, the load was continuously transferring like this. Face to face. Here, just a point. This structure is weaker. And one more thing. Now, this is the flange we will see. This is called a column coupling where we have taken a stringer. This is called a panel coupling. Okay? This fellow, the bottom fellow, what he said that, why I said that we, we will normally go this thick, this width, and this width. Normally we don't keep seeing. 
This width is decided by the type of the fastener and diameter of the fastener. This normally we don't keep the same because this fellow if we keep the same and he started behaving like this. Normally we try to reduce the width in the bottom compared to the top flange. If necessary, if necessary, I make this like this, I make this and I put like this. Then can be allowed in the bottom. If necessary, I will add material like this. Because again far away from the CZ, I am going to finish it with a increase. And this can only be achieved by sheet metal also. Okay? But the moment in the same plan, if I keep like this, this I need to do for This is called flange of the room. This flange is free and it also try to buckle like this. Hence, B of that is highly critical. We must be careful before we choose that B because that is an unconnected flange. This is a sample video of our class. We have a unique methodology of teaching. We coach students and professionals in core engineering domain. We have highly experienced team working to provide industry exposure and hands-on experience as per global industry standards to make students and professionals employable for a longer term in in Sutri. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested to know more, you can get in touch with us. Do subscribe to our channel for more such videos.